Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today. Two killed in Spanish town following a fatal crash. Sharn and Anardo shot dead and more. So people, I'm going to start off with an update on a story we do about three days ago, which involves a Jamaican man who chopped his woman to death in Antigua. For the persons who miss out on the first video, a Jamaican born man chopped up his wife in Antigua and injured his stepson. Yes, of course, he is arrested in Antigua and the judge did not give him the chance because this is his second time doing such thing to the same woman. He did it back in 2017, but lucky enough, she survived. Back in 2017, People find the woman in a bush, pan piece of cardboard, a cry well, not literally crying, but she a moan, she want help. They took her to the hospital where you know them run them surgery and fix her up until her healing process is over. Moda session ninety five percent up and running again. Reason why I'm gonna say one hundred percent because one of her eye was damaged and up to the day the man take where her three pints, her eye was damaged. She couldn't say well out of one her eye then. Further information suggested that in find out that she had cheat and that is the reason why him do her like that. Guys, please note this information was not confirmed by a family member or the police. It was passed down by a resident of her community. So them state say the man find out that she had cheat and that was his retaliation. Him to her in a bush, people find her, she got to the hospital. She recovered and yes, he was charged for it. But further information also suggested that she dropped all charges against him and stated that she loved him and they went back into a full-blown relationship. They were all good until things take a left turn again and the man did the same thing. And unfortunately, she never lucky enough to make it out of this one. Her son was also injured this time around. Because he went to the house to visit his mother, walk past the stepfather outside having a cigarette. When he go inside, him see his mother in the state that she was in. We are not sure if he confronted the man about what he saw, but he was later attacked by him and was later hospitalized. His situation was so bad that persons thought he was dead. Mandated to prison for allegedly killing 50-year-old Althea Henry and injuring her 21-year-old son this week. Boyd made his first court appearance this afternoon before Magistrate Conliffe Clark in St. John's Magistrate Court. He didn't have legal representation. Police have charged the 58-year-old 58 58 defendant with murder and attempted murder. Magistrate Clark could only remand the accused since magistrates in this country can't offer bail for those offenses. Investigators say they found Henry's lifeless body at her Cashicle home with multiple wounds Sunday afternoon. Meanwhile, police say Boyd attacked Henry's son, Tajma Francis, the same day, causing injuries to his left eye and upper body. The defendant will return to court on September 22nd for committal proceedings. Family members of Henry and her son became emotional as police took the defendant to prison. A demonstrator carried a placard call calling for the court to impose capital punishment if Boyd is convicted. So that is the update on the case. But now what more for understand, why is it that this lady went back with this man after she figured out what I'm capable of? The man made a major attempt for take away three points. And you mean for tell me, say, you forgive the man there so much that you go back and lie down pan pillar with him? Them say, I love make you do certain things. But to me, this is a love. This a brave. She brave bad. And him, him obsessed. Because there's no way you can love somebody and hurt them like this. There is literally no excuse for you do somebody something like this. She could have given a bun 10 more times. She gave a bun, you move on, you avoid her, you walk her out. And she is to be blamed because how can somebody do something like this to you and you still put back yourself in the position for it happen again? Where they think him did a change? There is no such thing as change 
for somebody unless you want change for yourself. So the man can't change for you, miss. Him have to change for himself. Him have to sit down, look into himself and decide, say. Him really want change. And after doing that and get away, me not feel like say him have to change again because him see say, as something him can constantly do, you forgive him and make them let him go. It is sad to say, but she put her own life at risk. She knew what could have happened and she still put herself in another situation. That is just how me see it. If you will see it from a different perspective, you can always leave your opinion on the story down in the comment section. Let me hear what you think. Especially the females them. If you were in this situation, what would I do? You would still put back yourself for them. You would make him run him time. You would make him walk free. What exactly would you do? On the make me know down below. A man was shot dead in Clarendon on Friday morning. He has been identified as 38-year-old Anarda Fisher, a construction worker. Shortly after midnight, Mr. Fisher was at home when gunman kicked down his door and shot him several times. There was a fatal shooting in East Kingston Police Division on Thursday. Residents of Bearshore Park heard loud explosion about 11 p.m. and called the police. The body of 38-year-old Sean Lawrence, which had bullet wounds, was later found. Four men as listed wanted. They are, they are 22-year-old Tyreek Popsgale, wanted for a shooting with intent. Omar Gunners Beckford, wanted for a murder. O'Shane Anthony Sonson Samuels, wanted for a shooting with intent. 27-year-old O'Shane B.D. Cooper, who is of fair complexion, slim built, wanted for murder. A team of officers assigned to the St. Catherine North Traffic Department are probing the circumstances surrounding the death of two men on Burnwick Avenue, Spanish Town, St. Catherine on Thursday, June 24. Dead are 52-year-old Arian Williams of Spanish Town, St. Catherine and an unidentified man. Reports are that about 9.30 p.m., Williams was driving a motor car with the unidentified as passenger heading towards Spanish Town, St. Catherine. On reaching a section of the roadway, Williams allegedly lost control of the vehicle and crashed into a wall. Both Williams and the unidentified man sustained multiple injuries and were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. Viewers and subscribers, a phone time now. I need to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion is valid over this side. So, I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down in the comment section. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.